We've tried, tested and used a number of really thick self-inflatable mats that are the sort of thing you take car camping, camping with a family. Um, so these have been very, very comfortable. And a question we often get asked is, which is the best? Well, a lot of things in terms of comfort is very subjective. Um, and, you know, I think everyone's got their own sort of choice and preference, but um, I just wanted to show you them side by side. So first up, this is the 10 centimeter thick Mondo King 3D from Thermarest. It's an insulated, insulated self-inflated mat. Um, it's very, very comfortable. Inflation here is with these classic self-inflating mat valves. So that's number one. So this mattress is huge. It's the Vango 15 centimeter Shangri-La Grand self-inflating mat. Now at 15 centimeters and the amount of foam in here, this is extremely comfortable, but it is very, very big. Um, so to when it packs away. So one of the things I really like on this is their simple valve here. Um, it just toggles open and self inflates and then you just pinch this open to put it away. It's, and it stops the air reinflating. So it's quite easy to set up and put down. In fact, this bag hadn't needed any air. This bag, sorry, <laughs> this self inflating mat didn't need any air going into it. It did actually self inflate to the full pressure. Whereas this one and the next one, I had to put a bit of air in. So I just put this one down. So this one is the new dream boat from Outwell. This is their 7.5 centimeters. So it's the skinny one out of all of these. Um, although Outwell do do thicker ones of these as well, if you wanted. Um, this one is insulated. It's got two sides. It's got extra insulation on one side for use in winter and less insulation on this side for use in summer. In fact, this side is meant to cool you down with these um, air tubes here close to your skin. So this one's to stop you getting too hot in the summertime and this side is to protect you in the winter time. Now, this one here has got the Outwell valves. It's got two of these Outwell valves on here that allow air to go in and not out and out and not in. So um, it makes it easier to inflate, deflate. Now all these bags I left for quite a while, all these bags, I keep calling it bags, all these self-inflating mats, um, I left for quite a while in the tent and they all pretty much self-inflated themselves um, to a degree. The Van Gogh, as I said, self-inflated itself completely. This one I had to put a little bit of air in, you just blow into here and it stops the air coming out. And that one, the Thermarest, I also had to put um, a bit of air in here. So um, just to make that little bit extra thickness. Now, I've slept on all of these. I think they're all very, very comfortable mats. One of the things that I really look for is making sure the hips nice and padded if you're lying on your side um, and you don't feel the ground underneath. So all of these are, are very, if you inflated them well, all of these fit the bill perfectly there. And we've all tested these and we all really like these mats. So I think it really comes down to size what you and what you can afford really, and what you're looking for out of these. Um, all of them are insulated, even the Van Gogh one, although the Van Gogh hasn't got any R-rated values on, the others have been independently tested. Um, so let's look at them all side by side. And then what I'll do is I'll pack them all up and you can look at what they're like packed because these are very large self-inflating mats. They're not the sort of things that you take hiking. So they do take up a bit of room when packed. So that's something really to con consider um, because, you know, sometimes family camping gear, it's a struggle to get in the back of your car. So let's have a look at them side by side. So there we have the Thermarest 10 centimeter bag. Bag. I keep calling them bags, what's up with me today? It's the 10 centimeter uh, Thermarest. There's the 15 centimeter Van Gogh Shangri-La Grand. And there's a 7.5 centimeter Outwell Dreamboat. Now, if you look at them all here, they're also, although they're different um, thicknesses in terms of depth, you literally look at the width, the Thermarest is the thinnest. Then you have the Van Gogh, and then 
the Outworld Dream Boat's actually the widest. So maybe that's something else to, uh, to consider. Okay, so here's the Thermarest. Um, it could do with inflating a little bit more. It's one of the more tricky ones to, to inflate. I won't say tricky, but it's one of the more traditional self-inflating mats to, to inflate. Um, you see, the dog likes this one the best. Oh no, that's an indication of comfort. Hello. Yes. So let's roll over here. Oh, onto this bed. Um, this is the, the large Van Gogh, and yeah, this is like a mattress you get at home. Um, it, it's very large, even sitting up like this, can't really feel the ground. It is very large, very, very comfortable, but at 15 centimeters, that's what you'd expect. And then we roll over onto the dream boat. This is the one that actually I used last night. Um, again, this is really comfortable. Um, I find it just as comfortable as this. Slightly firmer than this. This doesn't need to be quite so, so uh, inflated. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a lot, lot thinner and smaller. So uh, I'll put these away now and then you can see what they look like packed up. Okay, so here they are all packed. Um, the Thermarest here uh, comes in this uh, storage bag. Doesn't have any compression straps on it, just rolls up into that storage bag. Um, and then you close the valve so it doesn't reinflate. So there's that size. Now, the Van Gogh, for such a large self-inflating mat, their valve makes it really, really simple to deflate. Um, and this is the 15 centimeter, so it's the thickest, it's the thickest out of all of these. Uh, but it's quite heavy and uh, it's quite a size, so that's just a single. So if you've got a couple of those, that's taking up quite a space. I mean, we've got tents that are smaller than that pack. So um, it's a very big mattress, like a, like a mattress that she could have at home really. Um, but it is quite big to transport. Then this one is the Outworld Dreamboat. Now, uh, 7.5 centimeters, so it's the thinnest of all three. Although actually when inflated, we generally find it's about the same height as the 10 centimeters. So there's extra few centimeters. I'm not noticing a huge difference between the two. This is also the widest of, of the uh, three. So it's slightly longer when rolled than that one uh, and a tad longer than this one as well. Um, so, that one's fairly easy to deflate as well. The, the two valves um, means you can squeeze the air out of it and it won't reinflate. So that's a really, really good one to, uh, to, to pack away. It's also, I mean, it is the thinnest, but it's also by far the smallest out of all of these when packed up. So it's even smaller than this one. Um, obviously it's slightly longer, but it's smaller. So you could easily get those away. And it's, and it's really, really light too as well. Um, so, I think it's really, really depends what you're after. You know, if you're, you're first time camping, you, your budget might not stretch to something like this. Um, just get a simple airbed or something like that. If you use an airbed, try and insulate underneath it because the air can get cold in an airbed, which can cause condensation, making you feel damp. Um, and airbeds sometimes can be a little bit bouncy if you've got a double and uh, you're sharing them. Um, but you might then want to upgrade to something like this. Now these are insulated, um, so you're not gonna get as cold as night sleeping on these as you are an airbed. You know, obviously there's cost associated with upgrading something like this those are over a normal sort of airbed. And then you need to consider transport. So self-inflating mats traditionally were very, very small for a hiking community, but these are designed for car camping. But there you go. Um, few different choices to consider. Um, I like all of these mats, uh, they're all very very comfy. In terms of packability and comfort, I think I prefer the Dream Boat out of these, simply because it's just as comfortable really, not much in it between these two. Um, this one I think is probably slightly comfier because it's a thicker one, but in terms of storage and packing and transport, this one's a lot easier to put in the car and take camping than this one. Um, but if space isn't your option, you know, 
there's a few other choices there. So hopefully that's answered uh, some of your uh, questions on which is the most comfortable, which is, you know, a very subjective thing. It's really hard to, to show that on a video. Which is the most comfortable, how do they pack away and, and what you compare which one of which. Um, and I hope that's given you some answers um, to help make your decision.